and welcome back to your girl's channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to your girl. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you guys would like. Again, no pressure, that's only if you want to. But today's video is on this summer foundation routine. Is anyone else like me? Like some people can use the same foundation throughout all seasons, throughout the entire year. And I'm over here like my skin needs some new. Like my skin is so not loyal when it comes to skincare and foundation. It always wants something new. For my combination oily skin type, this has been working pretty good in LA weather and I like it. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let's jump right into the foundation. So the first thing we're gonna start with is primer. So I'm gonna take this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So it's basically a primer and moisturizer in one. So a little background on my skin. I have oily combination skin. It changes. Sometimes I'm combination because sometimes I'm a little more dry in areas, but overall I would still say I'm like an oily girl. Okay, now that we have the primer on, I'm gonna be using this foundation today, which I'm very excited about. This is the Stellar Foundation. Never heard of this brand until earlier this year. So they are a V vegan, cruelty-free line. And when I first saw this foundation, I believe it's $38. And being in Sephora, that's actually on the lower end. The shade I have is S04, and this product is made in Canada. This foundation has medium coverage, I would say, which is perfect. I like to use medium coverage and then powder on top so that I get full coverage in the end. So I'm just gonna give it one pump, and the shade match is Pretty darn good. The brush that I'm gonna use is this Real Techniques B02. I've been loving this brush for foundation. It's super tiny, which I'm not really used to. I always use like big ass foundation brushes so that, you know, it goes fast. But this is nice to go like, you know, in between the brows and like, you know, your nose and stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna go into this foundation and I usually just like to kind of Top it around to distribute the product. It's really, really a true medium coverage. Can you guys see that? Like you can still see a little bit of my scars and things peeking through, but overall it gives you a very, very nice natural matte finish. Or not even matte, I wouldn't even say nat natural matte because it's more like a just natural finish. I need a mirror, by the way. Okay, let me show you guys this right here. My girl, Melissa Michelle here on YouTube has her own palette with Ulta. Okay, girl, I see you. I love Melissa. We actually met in Costa Rica like two years ago. We were on a trip with um, Style Hall and she was there and we saw each other during dinner and stuff like that, but we never really had a chance to talk. But we went on a yacht ride, which we both got really, really um, seasick from. And then we sat together, chopped it up, and we just connected right away. I freaking love her. If she lived closer, I would hang out with her every single day. But I'm so happy that she has this palette. Y'all gotta go check it out, okay? Look at these shades, though. <laughs> it's beautiful. And this one right here, you will die. Can I just swatch it for you real quick? Look at that. It's amazing. So you guys have to check out her palette. Please support her. She is so gorgeous. There she is. Oh girl, you better work. I see you. So cute. Okay, this is such a gorgeous palette. I'm so happy for her. So please check her out if you guys have not already. This palette is available at Ulta. Okay, so I'm gonna use this mirror and buff this foundation in. This foundation is great for summer because it's pretty light. Like it feels very light and it does stay put throughout the day. And it looks light too. It's not one of those foundations that dry very powdery so that you just don't look cakey when you have this on, you know? For me, finding a foundation is pretty difficult because my skin is very temperamental. Like, temperamental? Is that a word? My skin, it just changes all the time. I can't just use one foundation and call it a day because it really just depends on how my skin feel in that day. Okay, so I just wanna come in close and show you guys how the foundation looks with just one layer. So as you can see, it's a true medium coverage, but it looks very, very natural. It does not have a powdery look. It's very just like your skin. You can go in and, you know, obviously use more and stuff, but I'm gonna go in with powder now. That's just how I like to do it, but you can obviously use more of this foundation and make it full coverage, but I don't want it to feel heavy, so I'm just gonna go in with powder now. Sorry, I forgot that I needed to do my concealer. So I'm gonna take Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This concealer I have in the shade Light Medium. So we're just gonna put this in the under eye area. It like makes me cringe when people use a ton of concealer underneath their eyes, but with this one, 
I, I don't know, but I use a ton of this too and it just makes me cringe whenever I watch myself do this. I'm like, why are you using so much concealer, girl? This one just blends out so naturally that even if you use this much, it's like fine. So I'm gonna go in and blend it out with the same brush. And just have a very, very light hand. I find that when I buff things in with a very light hand, it just looks more natural and it does not spread the product around as much. You want the product to just kind of lay where you put it, you know? You don't want to just like push it in and then have it sink into the brush. So just make sure you go in with a really light hand and look at how glowy and natural that makes your under eye look. I just love this concealer. You can use a ton of it and still look like you barely have any of it on. So once I have that underneath my eye, I'm gonna go in with powder now. So the powder, this is no secret, you guys probably expected it, but it's my Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy Foundation. I have it in the shade Clearly Cream 03. I've gone through probably three or four of these ever since this product came out, like, I don't know, like three years ago, or maybe a little longer than that, but I remember when this product first came out, I was all over it. I cannot ever be without this powder anymore. So if you guys are looking for a good powder foundation, this, please, please try it, okay? I'm just gonna go in and tap into here. So you can see you pick up a good amount of product. And then I just kind of mush it into the areas that I feel like just needs a little more coverage. Sometimes I use more of this, sometimes I use less. It just depends on how much coverage I want. And it's pretty warm outside today, so although I want full coverage, I don't wanna go like too crazy where I feel like I have two layers of foundation on, you know, even though I technically do have two layers of foundation on. But anyways, did you guys see how that redness just got covered up on my nose? Like, did you just see that, that pimple that I had? This powder, boom, she gone. <laughs> All you need is a little bit of this Bare Minerals powder and your life will be complete. My chin area for me is my problem area, so. Right there you can see I have a few breakouts. So again, I'm just gonna go like this and then stipple it on. Look at this full coverage right now. Our foundation is looking bomb. So I have this Style Nanda bronzer that I've been loving. I've been using this for months now and I haven't touched another bronzer. So the shade I have is medium brown. Browned? This is medium brown and it's the 3CE Bold Shading Powder. With an angled brush, go into the hollows of my cheekbones and just buff this in. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it up here a little bit. Go down here to my jawline. Now I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques brush. This is the B04, which I believe is a eyeshadow brush, but I kinda like to use it just to contour my nose. So I dip it into the Style Nanda palette, and then I just lightly go on the side of my nose. As you guys can see, I'm probably making the slightest, if not almost, non-existent difference. <laughs> now going in with blush, I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. Oh, by the way, this brush that I was using, it's a really, really old brush. Like it doesn't even have a label on it. I have no idea where it's from. I've just had it forever and I have no idea what it is. So yeah, it's just a basic angled face brush. And I'm gonna go in to the Chrissy Teigen or the Becca Chrissy Teigen collab palette. And I'm gonna use this blush right down here. I've been loving the shade and I'm gonna dip it into a little bit of that shade right there. So I'm just gonna go here, here, back to here, and that's it. I like to go around this area. And I know this face is not the most attractive, like, girl, what is this? Just super, Super soft. Now that we have that down, I'm gonna use Melissa's palette. She has a highlighter in here. And I'm gonna use this highlighter right here. The brush I'm using is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. And just give it a nice little highlight. Woo! 
I love to do this right here which is just highlighting the tip of my nose. And lastly, we're gonna take a clean, fluffy brush. This is the Luxie 520 Tapered Face Brush. And I like to just go in lightly and blend everything out. This way, the blush, the bronzer, the highlight all just seamlessly melts together and you don't see like, oh, highlight, blush, bronzer. You know, you want it to all kind of mesh and blend. You see how it just blends everything seamlessly together? I love it. I'm gonna go in with this Pharmacy Skin Dew. I just found this at Sephora the other day and I've been liking it. This is great for just giving my skin that like more natural look so that's not so powdery and flat. Oh, and it feels so good too. Like throughout the day, I just like to use this to refresh my face and it feels so, so nice. All right, my sisters. So that about wraps it up for this summer foundation routine. I hope you guys found it helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Please subscribe if you have not already and give me a follow on Instagram if you guys would like. And I will see all of you sisters in my next video. Bye.